When they asked me to do this gig, nobody mentioned the lack of facilities to accommodate a fish. Help me out with this. Can you help me get the most basic thing a fish needs to survive? Which of these has the main thing a fish like me needs to stay alive? Um, no, actually, I find TV rather shocking. I think Fido would be sad if I ate his food. Thanks, that's much better. Like I said, water is a must-have for a fish. Still, if you want me to hang around for a while and stay healthy, there are three other things I need as well. Can you guess what those are? Click on all the things that fish need in addition to water to stay happy and healthy. Hooray for hamburger shaped fish food! That's right, even fish need to breathe oxygen. Who knew? That's right! I need oxygen, food, and a way to get rid of waste in addition to this wonderful water. A friend of mine, this catfish named Obby, was telling me the other day about a design for a simple, inexpensive RAS that doesn't take up a whole lot of space. What is an RAS, you ask? Drag the end of the word to the correct first letter to discover what R-A-S stands for. Good job! R-A-S stands for Recirculating Aquaculture System. Very cool! Recirculating aquaculture systems are used to hold, grow, and breed fish and other aquatic organisms so we can enjoy their company. You know, an aquarium is a great example of an RAS. A complete RAS can vary in size from a 10-gallon aquarium to a million-gallon commercial aquarium. RAS are also used to grow fish on fish farms and even in schools. Aquaculturists, people that grow fish, have to know a lot of science and a lot of practical skills. Things like you're learning about in school. Biology, chemistry, physics, math, business, marketing, plumbing, carpentry as well as how to handle food safely and even cooking, ouch, and many other useful skills. Think of it as a living laboratory where you can apply book knowledge in the real world. One of the things that makes the RAS design I was telling you about really cool is that you can make it yourself with a couple of adults. Like parents or teachers. And better yet, even if a school doesn't have a lot of money or space, it's simple, compact, and inexpensive so that it's really easy to make. Using two 55 gallon barrels, a 5 gallon bucket, a water pump, and some PVC pipe from your local home store, it's really a snap. You will also need some filter material as well but we'll get to that later. How many fish will it hold? Well, depending on the filter, 10 to 12 pounds of fish. The amount of beautiful tilapia in this photo are feasible with this RAS. Let's look at the components and how to put it together.
See how the whole thing actually works. Okay, here's how it works. The water is pumped from the fish barrel to the bucket on the filter barrel. The water then passes through the mechanical filter pads where the waste solids are removed. Now at the bottom of the bucket, the water goes through the holes in the bottom of the three inch pipe and up into the top of the bucket standpipe. The water falls to the bottom of the filter barrel and must pass through the biological filter media where the dissolved waste is broken down before the fresh clean water is returned back to the fish barrel. This is just one system. There are many other possible designs, as long as the components meet the requirements of the fish. Water, a way to move water, oxygen, food, waste removal, both solid with a mechanical filter and dissolved with a biological filter. It doesn't really matter what it looks like as long as it meets the requirements of the fish. If you would like to learn more about recirculating aquaculture systems, have a look at some of the publications and links above. <laughs>